Welcome. This is my exhibition journey. My name is Marixa Davila. I'm a printmaker who also makes books. This piece, which uh, it took several years to be produced, is an actual oracle dedicated to my parents. In the left, on my right, you can see my father, Moncho Davila. He was a musician, and at the bottom, there's a guitar. Uh, also, on the top and on the sides, there are elements dedicated to his ancestry. He was African descent. So, it's a house shape because I wanted them to create a home for my mother and my father. In the middle, there's the center of the altar, which is related to the family and what family is all about. On my left is going to be my mother. I was raised in a, in a family with three other sisters. My mother was white, my father was African descent, my mother's family came from Spain, and so for, for her, I selected the lace, and she sat it on this throne, and then the bottle, the, the bottle, a moral and pestle made out of wood, which is very common in Puerto Rico to, to uh, work with the spices and herbs, like uh, garlic and uh, cilantro and things like that. This particular piece, it was a model my mother gave me when I first moved on my own apartment. So she was an amazing cook, an amazing uh, caretaker. My father was a greater force in the family because he was a musician. Right here, I brought a matrix, which some people call the plate. This matrix is related to this piece over here. This matrix, is what is made on a technique called silk aqua tint. So everything that you see on white is layers and layers of polymer mixed with white uh, acrylic paint. So the more the the more you see the layers, the lighter is going to print because it covers this part over here, which is made of fabric, not necessarily silk. So you can see the range of tones, and then here you can see how the range of tones kind of relate to how many layers of the acrylic medium is in here. This is one of the books that have a very interesting story behind it. Uh, this is The Maker of Twilight, and it's a collaboration with Kate Lindsay, which uh, gave me the story, and Linda Evans, who designed the calligraphy for the book. And the story goes that Kay came to visit at my studio one day, and I have a matrix, a colograph plate, of a long snake. And so she told me, I do have a story to tell you about the snake. And I said, well, go ahead. So I was working and listening to her. And so she told me that she was, uh, it was during one of the residencies, I believe it was in New Mexico. And they were given these little cabins and she was going back to her cabin or trying to get up uh, to grab some uh, oil uh, or water or something that she needed it outside and getting, going out she found this humongous snake. It was staring at her and is standing upright. And so she back up into her cabin and uh, decided, well, maybe if I wait a bit longer, it will go away. And uh, then she tried again and it was still there in the same position. I said, okay, no way I'm going out. So by then, it started to become dark and she went out and it was a moon. Uh, it was a Temecula twilight type of moon the snake has been gone, and uh, so all she could see was then, by then, the moon. So she told me that she had written a story about it, and I decided we need to make a book based on that story. In this time, more so than many others that I remember, 
I feel like dialogues are lost. Communications is missing. Divisiveness seems to envelop us, cover at us. We are isolating ourselves for the sake of our hearts and the health of others. So this piece came out, out of that necessity of by using the text to kind of create a visual dialogue with a physical dialogue and the anatomy, a dialogue that, re that relates to us as human beings. Uh, this is actually a photograph that I took, that it was taken uh, from me. My husband helped me out in this process. And I wanted it to kind of use the hands. The hands because we are missing the touch. The hands because envelop us in at this point, we are the one we need to be touched or touching ourselves because of the lack of that closeness that the moment is actually demanding. This screen is the screen I used to create the dialogue in this particular uh, section of my piece. As you can see, what I did was to block the arm section. So everything that is open is where the images is goes through. And it, because it's meant to be a little bit quieter than the rest, there's no color into this. There's actually a varnish placed on top of the piece. Some areas, the varnish is a little bit heavier. And then you can see the dialogue coming through, the text coming through a little, a little bit more than others. And this is why you have this in here. When you, this is, so this is all the block area on the arm and the text. For this one, I use it for emotion. So I had to create the positive of the image so I can print on top of this section, which are digital images. <laughs>